Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're doing another mail time, but this one's a little bit more important. Maybe not, but the production quality is better because we got a camera upstairs. How we doing? Look out. Come on now. Don't be shy. Hello. That way y'all can see more of what we're seeing on the table. I know that a lot of times one angle isn't enough, but now we got two. And this is a really cool one. Anyway, guys, we ain't gonna waste no time here. First things first, we gotta have a knife to open the packages. We're using the KG pocket knife because they're now in stock. KennelGrade1.com slash shop or first link in description. Check them out if you want them. If you don't want them, you can go buy them. All right, first package is coming from Kendall Gray. Wait, never mind. I'm gonna let you be opening that one. So this one's from Reese mm, Mat Matlock. Oh, we got some cool stuff in here. Here's a knife sheath, homemade leather. Here is a, uh, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Then we got a Chevy symbol. That's worth some money, ain't it? That guy knows what's up. Dude, what is this? That's a note, that's a note hole for something, or a shell casing. Looks like it. Next thing in here, we got something that's kind of square. So this is kind of interesting. I don't have a clue what this is. Feels like a small book. Hey, this is cool. No way. Well, hold up. We'll open that right here in a second. We got this thing to worry about. Oh, this is an old deck of cards. 1900s. I mean, 1600s. I don't really know what this is actually. Oh cool, they're minion cards. That's cool. That's what we're talking about right there. Let's see, we, we ain't done yet. We got a wallet. Think there's money in there? I bet uh, there's a dollar in there. Nothing. But we do got a lot of cards and this is kind of cool. Here's someone for contracting. Here's land and property management. Here's Missouri Department of Conservation. Construction and bulldozing. And then we got a 2017 basketball card, baseball card. This is very interesting. This guy just straight up sent me his wallet. Too bad there's no cash money inside. I'm just kidding. Don't send me cash money. Unless you want to. I'm just kidding. Kind of. And then we got an Apple Tower. Oh, this is the ignition off what? of that truck. Yeah. Oh, it is. This is where the key goes in. Yeah. Well, you about sent the whole truck right there. Now onto this one that Ethan was opening. We didn't find a name on it. It's Henry. Yep, it's Henry. And Louisa. Louisa. Hey, they spent some time on that. Yeah, they did. They, it's a good drawing. In the box, they sent us a piece of wood. That's an ornament. That's an ornament. Yeah, that's a good point. It is an ornament. A small Swiss army knife. So that's epic. And then a bait pack for the bait wall. This one come from Giovanni Arredo and Angela Arredo. I don't know. They're from Texas. We got a shredded up thing. Oh, maybe that's just bubble wrap. Okay. Very interesting. It's a floth. What is that? It's a floth. I actually don't know what that is. But he did send some ammo. Let's go, baby. I'm still trying to figure out what this is. Yeah, I don't know what this is. We may have to frame this. Floth. Yeah. Up next, coming from Noah Ledford. Oh my goodness. They sent me a load of hooks. They sent me 150 of them. Some awesome little trailers here. And then I think in here, some spinner baits to put the trailers on. And there's this deer he killed. This one is coming from Merritt Hammonds. Hey, what is that? Whoa, that is cool. That's the savage that killed that deer. Oh, dang. He sent us a picture of the deer he killed along with the bullet, the bullet that killed it. That's epic, dude. Oh, and he sent a knife. I don't know if he gutted the deer with this, though. I doubt it. While Ethan's doing surgery on a grape, I'm going to be opening this one from Easton, Samuel, and Logan. Oh, no. What we got here, son? What is this? Whoa. I don't know why I jumped. It's really not that scary. Bro Crow. It's back. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We're going to put this somewhere very soon. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned on the main channel. Those are dog treats. This is coming from Kyle Crowell. Oh, man. Oh, snap. He sent me a straight care package. Looks like I've got lizards in there, finesse worms in there, a bunch of bobbers, and a few baits like that. This one is coming from Hunty Nicole. Ethan, are you doing okay over there? It's taking you a long time. I've went through like six packages. I don't want to mess this kid's uh, letter up. Yeah, that's true. This one I'm straight out, pull, pulling out straight cat. Oh, yeah. This one's from Aaron Ricky. Yeah, we're going to put that package on hold. Let's open up these things. Y'all can see them from above. They're like little packages of mis mystery. We'll try. If they explode, I'm suing. I'm kidding. All right, you ready? Oh, dude, no way. This is an arrowhead. Mine's an arrowhead. Is yours an arrowhead? No, yours is something different. Oh, yours is like handmade art. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. A KG and an arrowhead. And then, of course, we got some dog treats for Lucky, Peanut, Steve, Sheba. Oh, and a bracelet. That's epic. In this one that we put on hold, we got $2. We got another mystery packet. Kind of sketchy, but we'll work through it. We got the letter. We got Lake Fork. Oh, another pack for the bait wall. 
Oh, we gotta be careful opening that one. It's obviously a broadhead. Oh gosh, we're gonna kill ourselves right here. Then we got some flies. Floops. Those are really good. Oh, another one signed for the bait wall. So more treats for treats for Lucky and Steve and Sheba and Peanut. Oh, he called it D-Nut. <laughs> oh, no, it's Peanut. I can't read. Just forgive me, guys. Okay, that's one thing. So if we look closely here at what I got on the table, it appears to be an airhead with a fox squirrel hand grappling over it from above. <laughs> very nice, very nice. We actually got a lot of airheads. Are they safe to eat? I don't know. They traveled many miles with a, with a fox squirrel attached. So, of course they're edible. Who wouldn't eat them? Then we got, of course, another airhead and some big old hooks. So that's really awesome. This was packed. We've still not opened these yet either. You know that Hunty had to go out, chop this guy's leg off, spread it open wide, and sit there and watch it dry out. What a savage. Now let's take a minute to open up these. Now these are kind of sketchy, okay? They're the sketchy plastic bag that no one wants to open because they don't know if it's going to be... What's that one stuff they put in mail to kill people? Oh, it is a broadhead. That's a... Oh, no. That's a mean looking broadhead. You ever seen one like that? That's got wheels on it. That's what I'm saying. Open up that one. Check out this from above. I got to be careful with this one. Make sure I don't destroy myself. That is dangerous, dude. Who would use something like this? Is that another broadhead? What is that? That's just a mace. I'm kind of scared of these, but I do enjoy this is coming from Grace, Grace and Schumann. Oh, what we got, what we got? Oh, this is cool, this is really cool. It's like one of those pop socket things that go on the back of your phone. Oh, oh, that is cool. That is a shark tooth if I've ever seen one. Along with a few bait packs for the bait wall. Oh, what is that? It's another, that's a serrated shark tooth. The way we're ripping these, if we get glitter bombed, we're actually gonna die. I don't know what I just received, but I like. We got three bait packs for the bait wall. Whoa. Well, that's a snake skin head. Whatever. And another arrowhead. Look at this, though. This is what appears to be a hand line made out of pipe. We've got this thing here for a handle. We may have to use that soon. Honestly, though, that's really cool. You draw you. What in the world? It's a portrait. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and we got a knife. That'll be good. I hate to say it, guys, but this one right here, it's just not performing. I ain't gonna get the job done. Got a couple more. What in the world? How did these baits get off the bait wall? Who's that one from? Old Trill. I really don't know. This one's from Todd. Like, I'm sorry. But... He knows who he is. Oh, man. This one's straight up camo. It's a full-on jacket. Oh, no. Y'all gonna ruin Steve. You gave Steve peanut butter nanners, whatever that is. Steve's gonna be so fat, and I ain't gonna stop him either. One more package. It'll be a hand grenade. Come from Christian Ray. If it's a hand grenade, we'll pull it. Moment of truth right here. Is it gonna kill us? Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh man, this is a package. We got that, we got this, we got that, we got that, we got this, and we got these. And the best part about it, it's all stuck in the inside out oatmeal box. You know what that is? Yeah. The kid did some work. That's some good design. I like that. Todd hand, Todd hand, soybeans, deer, miniature, me, kinda. And dude. Soybeans. Soybeans. That's sardines. Sardines and soybeans. Same thing. Oh, dang, that is me. He's got my shirt on. He really did. He painted me with the red camo shirt. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for sending in mail. If you sent in mail, obviously we did have some stuff we, that we couldn't open on fan mail because we do have time constraints. I want to thank all of you guys for sending it in. If any of you didn't send it in or some of you might want to send some more, right here is the P.O. box or it is also down in the description. Thank you guys for doing all this. Thank you for watching till the end. Comment below, what should we do next? I'm surprised no one tried to make it do a sardine challenge, like eating sardines. Well, if they want it, we will try it. That's the end of the video. Adios.